Yo, what's going on YouTube? Look, as some of you might be able to tell by the title, if you put two and two together, it was my 22nd birthday yesterday. So from when this video comes out, I don't know, that could be uh, a couple days ago, but it was yesterday. So I thought I'd just drop a video just talking about, I don't know, certain pressures that I face personally during birthday season and certain things that I kind of think about during this time. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I thought this would be a, like a little interesting video to drop, so and it's a little bit, it's something a little bit different. I know you lot would not, but we've never really done this sort of just sit down talking about something, except for the fact when I've come back from a YouTube drought, let's say, and then I've had to apologise in some ways. But that's not what we're doing today. Let's get into the video. So look, for me, yeah, I was just thinking about this. Like I get it. You're okay. I was 21 yesterday, let's say. I'm 22 today. That doesn't mean you're a year older. You're not a whole year older. Even though it does, but from yesterday, you're not a whole year older. You're you're literally one day older. It's it's really not that deep. You don't you shouldn't feel like oh I've become a whole year older now. Like why what what well, why are you stressing out now that you've got a year older? Does that even make sense? You got a day older, yeah. Stress out you got a day older. Does that make sense? Are you gonna stress over the fact that you got a day older? No. So why are you stressing that you've got a year older? A year older. Like realistically now, yeah, I'm one day in to being 22. Should I be stressing that, oh, I'm one day older, I'm one, year, one day older, closer to 23. No, like, what are you stressing for? It doesn't matter. Literally, like, I don't know if it's society or it's like social media that makes you think that getting older is a bad thing or it's like when you get to a certain age, you're not cool no more or you can't do this no more. And I feel like that is actually a big case with, with a lot of people I talk to, anyway. They think that because they're at this certain age, it's like, oh, nah, life's over for me now. Like, time to shut up, shut up. It's time to, it's time to hit the hay. Like, no, your life can literally get started now. It doesn't matter whether you're 25, whether you're 35, 65. Your life can get started. And I, it's just like, it's a, it's a sad mentality to have, to be honest. Like, if you've got that mentality where you think that your life's over because you've hit a certain age, scrap that. Just, I can't even understand why you think your life's over. So, I mean, look, at the same time, I do kind of get it. Because for me, anyway, I used to, I used to always just compare my age to other people's that are successful. So, for example, like, I'll compare myself to... Um, I don't know, a footballer or let's say a YouTuber because that's something I really want to do and I'll be like, they're doing that whilst I'm here doing this like, where did, it, where did it go wrong? but in reality, it's everyone's on their own journey you can't look at someone else's journey and expect to be in their position it's just, it's not, it's not realistic because you went through your own journey I went through my own journey with two different people so, the way my path is going to go the way my career is going to go it's not going to be the same as everybody else's. That's the beauty in it. Everyone has their own path. Nobody's path is the same. Everyone's is unique. So it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of taken me a little minute. So don't, I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect. By no, by no stretch of the imagination. But what I'm saying is I'm trying to get better with it and stop judging, like comparing myself to him, her, well not her, but you know what I'm saying. I don't ever compare myself to no, to no female, but Stop comparing myself to someone else that's similar age because yeah at the end of the day you're on your own journey They're on their own journey. It's like as the famous saying goes Comparison is a theft of joy and for the people that don't understand what that is Let me just break it down for you real quick It's basically saying that if you compare yourself to someone else that like you okay Let's put this let's, let's set the let's set the scene Let's just say you got a brand new car and now that you've got this car You're so happy and you're so like excited about the car, but then Let's say you see someone online and they're just, they're the same age as you or even younger and they've just got their first car but their first car is way better than your first car. Like, psh, your first car is ass compared to their first car but the truth is, okay, you might see their first car and be like, damn, ah, oh, I wish I had that car or damn, their car is probably better than mine. Like, you, you'll just wish you had, you craved their, what they've got so you've kind of lost the happiness you had from when you first received your car and you're now thinking about what they've got. And it's like, if you just didn't care about what anybody else has got, you'd be, it's all about really just being grateful. Like, if you're just grateful with what you have and not always thinking about, oh, but this person's got that, this person's got this, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. It's like, 
you can really be a lot more happier. Like I could easily compare, like, compare myself to someone that's 100k subscribers and be like, oh, how have they got that? But at the end of the day, it's like, this is my journey. They've got theirs, I'm happy for them. There's no envy in my heart, but it's like, okay, they've got theirs. I just need to grind for mine and then shit. When I'm there, I'll be happy, that's it. It's, you just gotta fall in love with the process as well. Anyway, I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent here, but my main point is don't let people bring you down because they've got what you haven't yet. Because at the end of the day, you're on your own journey, they're on their own journey. Your journey is different, their journey is different. So, yeah, eliminate that mindset and don't believe that it's too late to do anything. You can do anything. All right, that's some due motivation right there. You can do anything. You watching this, you, were you watching this video right now? You can do anything. You. Also, another thing to do with like people and having, because so, I know like social media has really, has really like destroyed the minds of a lot of young adults because I feel like you'll see something and it's not even like, it's not even realistic. Like the lifestyle people portray on social media is not even realistic. So now you're constantly chasing this fake lifestyle. Let's bring it back to the car scenario. Say someone's got a car. And this really does sound like I'm envying someone and I keep talking about a car. But it's just what I can, it's the easiest thing I can comprehend. Let's say someone's got a car and you're kind of jealous of them, you're jealous of what they have. But you don't know what they've done to one, get the car. You don't know what they've done two, to maintain the car. Maybe if you knew what they were doing to keep it or maintain it or even purchase it in the first place, maybe you wouldn't be so envious. If you knew that they were scrubbing toilets 24 uh, 24 7 would you really want that car would you really want it in the way they've got it you don't know what they're doing i'm not saying there's nothing there's nothing wrong with scrubbing toilets but what i'm saying is that you don't know you just don't know what they're doing to get that so they could portray this rich lifestyle and they're all up and whatever but the reality of it is they're grafting their ass off and you probably wouldn't want to be in their position that's my point so don't take everything you see on social media. Damn, this has turned into like more of a more of a like life advice type of video, but it's not. To summarize, your journey, your age is unique. Don't worry about nobody else's. Oh, and this is one thing, yeah, that I dislike the most about birthdays. This is okay, this is the one thing I dislike the most about birthdays. When it's my birthday, I'm so content with nothing. I'm content staying at home, chilling. I'm just con I'm happy with that. I can do that and I appreciate anybody that tries to make my day a little bit more special don't think I don't but when oh, it's just like the feeling I don't know how to explain it. it's like when someone's trying to make your day better not realizing that you're happy with nothing and it's like you can see them trying and they're kind of like they're basically just trying to make your day better but they don't realize that you're happy with just chilling and you're like just chill like you ain't gonna do all that you can you know what I'm saying you can just chill but I appreciate it nonetheless but it's just like, and also, oh, when, when you get, oh, I'm about to go off. When you're getting presents and you kind of, like, when you say you're getting gifted a present and then you're getting looked at by the person giving you the present now and they're looking at you waiting for your excitement or approval of the present and you have to kind of like, not fake it because I'm definitely grateful for whatever I get, but it's like, you have to kind of give it a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? You have to just give it a little bit more. So they can feel the appreciation of your appreciation. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that is also something that I find a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, hopefully this makes sense, what I'm saying right now. Hopefully that makes sense. If you don't understand what I'm saying, please let me know in the comments. Because I don't, I hope I'm not the only one going through this. But yeah, that's just some of my birthday thoughts. I thought I'd share it with you lot. Because, I don't know, I feel like year to year, I want to upload a video like saying this was my year maybe because this one's just an introduction to it so this one's not really been too much about like where i'm at or whatever but we can do an overview we'll do that at the end of the video but year to year i kind of do want to upload a video titled 22 23 24 whatever age i'm at on upload one video even if i like even if i'm not on youtube i still want to upload the one video just saying like where i'm at what's going on like that could be interesting could be fun we will we'll see let's let's get to that point you know what i'm saying let's not let's not jump the gun or nothing let's just you know what i'm saying but 
Let's do a little overview then. Okay, currently 22. So I'm at 60 subscribers and maybe I'm not in the best position. Well, I'm in a good position because I'm always grateful for where I'm at, but I do want more at the same time. So I'm in a decent position. I want to be in a better position come next year. Um, I've got some on my sleeve for you lot. I can't disclose nothing too much yet, but I'm sure it'll have a big impact on my life and you lot will be on that journey. So we'll see. I'm not going to say too much. But yeah, I think this was a good little video. Something a little bit different. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you enjoyed it. You know, you can show your appreciation by liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on my post notifications so you're updated anytime I upload. You don't want to be missing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, let's not, let's not even say nothing. But hopefully you lot enjoyed it. I'll catch you lot in the next one. Chase your dreams, man. Chase your motherfucking dreams.